It's the weekend, folks. Welcome to the weekend. The perfect time to hire it done. My name's Adam Helfman, and you're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network. And I want to give a shout out to our newest affiliate, KXNT 840 AM in Las Vegas, Nevada. Program director Andy Vieira, thanks a lot. We got some great home improvement advice coming out to you. That's right, folks. Just bet with your head, not over it. That's <laughs> right? That's right. That's my, that's my love for Vegas. Because you know what? The home improvement advice that I'm sending out to you in Vegas, it stays in Vegas. Okay, buddy? So anyways, for, the lo- for all my new listeners to my national radio show, uh, I'm a fourth-generation contractor. That's right. My great-grandfather came to this country, 1900s, and uh, he started our family business. I've remodeled and built over 10,000 homes. It's a lot. I lost track after 500, but there's still over 10,000. Yeah, and I can prove it. It's really. So I want you to understand something. This is not a do-it-yourself show. However, I'm not anti-do-it-yourself, okay? I am pro-do-it-for-me. And the reason I'm telling you this is because homeowners today don't have the time which is the new tool in your toolbox, by the way, to really do it themselves. Now, there's people who still do it themselves and love it, and you guys can have at it. I love you. I respect you. I envy you. However, um, anyways, the point is, is you need to understand that you're going to hire a contractor one day, and we don't want you to, um, we don't want you to, how would I say this, get burned. Everyone wants a hassle-free home improvement. And so we're here to help you, folks, and that's what we want to do. So we want to help you hire it done. So we always uh, have a resource for you, which is hireitdone.com. We have a phone line, 877-HIRE-IT-DONE. That's right, 877-HIRE-IT-DONE. That's 877-447-3483. And let me say this. Uh, You can always... Email us as well, adam at hireitdone.com. That's where um, we get a lot of information to you. But you go to our website, hireitdone.com. You go to our YouTube channel. We have unbelievable videos that are very informative, and uh, it'll help you. So don't worry on how we do that, okay? So I want you to know a little bit more about me. See, from the neck down, folks, I'm worth minimum wage. And from the chin up, I make my living. And my living is to share information with you so that when you hire a contractor, you don't get burned. So I'm going to give you the questions to ask. I'm going to give you the questions they don't want you to ask. And we're going to give you trends, topics, tips, everything home improvement. You see, this show is going to teach you how to fix, repair, or remodel everything within the four corners of your lot. And it's not uh, like I said, it's not really a do-it-yourself show. However, we're always going to teach you little do-it-yourself tricks, home hacks, for example. We've got all kinds of little things for you. So if you're going to go to the hardware store, which most people do, um, I'm going to give you little items to buy that will help you make your house better. You see, your car has an odometer, right? Your house doesn't. So you don't know when to, to uh, change your oil. You don't know when to... Um, how would I say, change your air filters? Hire It Done, the radio show, the website, the whole brand is going to help you, and we're going to be your odometer. This is your resource. And, uh, you know, a little shout-outs to people who are helping us today. In the studio is John Simon, making sure everything technical goes right. Roberto handles our Facebook Live, and at times lends his humorous homeowner experiences. So listen, I want you to call in with your home improvement uh, questions at 877-HIRE-IT-DONE if you want to this morning. Uh, that's 877-447-3483. And, of course, if you want to send us some emails, do you have questions you don't want to call in on the air? It's really simple. Uh, Adam at HireItDone.com. And that's what we want you to understand, folks, is we're going to be a resource. Everybody wants to hire a contractor. Everybody knows somebody who's got burned by a contractor. 
Who wants to have that problem? I don't. I don't want you to have that problem. So we need to make sure we're all on the same page. You see, it's not just good enough anymore to ask a contractor, are you licensed and insured? Do you have references? I mean, really? What contractor is going to tell you, uh, well, Mrs. Homeowner, I know you're asking for references, but I don't have any. What's the chance that you're going to hire that guy? And then, of course, every contractor says they have references. Yeah, I got references, Mrs. Homeowner. Uncle Bill, Cousin, si cousin Sally, my sister Teresa, they're all going to say good things about me. I mean, really? So the key is it hire it done. We check the references. We check the fact uh, that they're legit. We vet them. In fact, if you go to HireItDone.com, we have a 10-point pre-screening that we do with our contractors. And it's pretty thorough. It's better than most other websites or referral services or lists. And by the way, there's a lot out there that you can, uh, you can have. And by the way, I've got a really great show lined up today. Um, six smart home upgrades. If you're thinking of selling your house, by the way, it's a seller's market. You should list it now, but I'm going to give you some tips on smart home upgrades when we come back. I'm Adam Healthman. You're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network. Welcome back, folks. This is the Hire It Done National Radio Show. You got a question? Call us, 877-HIRE-IT-DONE. That's right. I said 877-HIRE-IT-DONE or 877-447-447. 3483. Get your pen, get paper, man. I got great content for you today. Great home improvement advice. And of course, if you want more, folks, I want you to make sure that you understand that we're here as a resource for you. So, Hire Ton on Facebook is really cool. We got great information there. Our Hire Ton YouTube channel, subscribe to that. Unbelievable videos. We have a great, we hired a videographer now, right? It's like the, it's like the world according to Garp. Or Truman Show? Which one is it? Guy follows me around with a, he follows me around and like, we video stuff. Yeah, I saw I saw him uh, follow you into the men's room the other day. I was like, what's going on here? Well, I was showing him about uh, the proper flushing techniques. Oh right, right, right. You know that goes. So, so here's the thing. Okay, I want to make sure for you guys listening to the show right now, hire it done uh, covers everything around your house, and so. You know, here's a statistic I want to share. 85% of all remodeling dollars spent, which is $400 plus billion a year, whew, that's a lot of big zeros, $400 billion a year, but 80% of that money is spent within the first two years of home ownership. And so when you buy a house, everyone's like, oh, I bought this house, I love it. I'm going to repaint. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Well, guess what? It's a seller's market right now. And if you're going to think about selling your house, oh, we're going to put our house up this year. Put it up now. Houses, I've been talking to real estate agents, and houses have been going, like, listed for a day, two days. There are so many people looking for houses that you might as well, which is, by the way, the four dirty words in home improvement, you might as well. It's we might as well, actually. But you might as well put it on the market. You can always put a high price and not sell it if you don't want. But I want to give you six Smart home upgrades that'll help you sell your home faster. And if you're not planning on selling, guess what? This is applies to you folks. This is information that I love. Okay. And I got this from Coldwell Banker. Uh, it's a national real estate company. Um, they did a smart home survey. Interesting stuff. And I have to agree with a lot of it. Okay. And this, you know, the numbers vary by device type, but 77% of the homeowners want thermostats that are smart. How smart? Um, how smart is that? Well, let's talk about it. So how, what do you mean a smart thermostat? Do you have the round dial thermostat that goes on your wall? The old Honeywell? That was the gold standard. In fact, they made it look like gold. It was like a bronzy gold color. <laughs> Roberta, you're laughing because you probably still have it. <laughs> <laughs> Only in the last few years. Yeah, it went away. But Okay. Well, that's okay. You know, that's majority of the houses. People just say, you know, heat, off, cool, fan, on, auto. And then the temperature number, that was it. And the round Honeywell, when, when I was a kid, there was only one man that could touch the Your temperature, dad. right? <laughs> Who touched the thermostat? Who touched us? Oh, <laughs> right? Terrible. I mean, I, I was like, you know, now that I'm going to be 50, 
Tuesday this coming week. Like, yeah. I get I get I get hot flashes. Oh wait a minute, that was my mom. No. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing, folks. You got to replace your your smart home I and mean, your thermostat with a smart model. What does that mean? Well, have you heard of the Nest thermostat? It's really cool. It's a self-learning thermostat. It knows when you come in and out of your house and things like that. But let me explain to you the premise of a smart thermostat. So here's here's the typical homeowner. Still the majority. Get up five, six, seven a.m. Take a shower, take the kids, get them to school, go to work till 5, 6 o'clock at night. All day long, the house is pretty much empty. Do you need to keep the house super cold or super hot or warm enough for someone to live in it during the day? No. So while you're gone for eight hours, let the thermostat go down. Save the energy. But you have to manually do it? No, no, no. This is why the smart thermostat is the best. Okay? Set it back. Program it so that it goes back five, six degrees while you're at work or, or the other way, whatever temperature you're from. That not only saves you money, but it's automatic. And now you have an app on your phone. Many people have smartphones. You don't have to have the app, though. You can just program it from the wall. But then at work, you're like, oh, man, I forgot. Or we have a heat wave today. I don't want to come home to a boiling house. My poor little cat's going to be hot. You can change the temperature from your phone and that's the best part and the best thing about a smart thermostat is if when you get you know you're going to get your furnace tune up your air conditioning tune up have them put install and program a smart thermostat now if you have a new therm a new furnace a lennox uh any brand right they have branded thermostats that talk to the furnace so you might want to get that and then even even expand because you can change humidity. There's a lot you can do now with the digital thermostat. Here's another one. How about smartening up your smoke detector? Okay. Smoke detectors and I have a little bit of a uh, beef going on. Right? Everybody hates smoke detectors. I don't know anyone that loves it. Oh, I love my smoke detector. Especially when it chirps. Right? Chirp. And then you're looking around your house and you're not sure which one it is right? But a smoke detector saves lives. So here's why I'm, uh, uh, this is where the show crosses over, right? Every homeowner, for one of my home hacks that we always give you is, if you're going to have your smoke detectors in your house, which you have to by law, and you want to save lives, so you have to have it. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Get a smoke detector, folks, that has a carbon monoxide detector built in, the combo unit. But when you go to the hardware store, pick up a lithium ion nine volt battery. Hear me out. Lithium ion, L I O N, right? That's the short term. It's two molecules combined, lithium ion. I think, maybe, whatever. But here's my point it's 2018. You go and you buy a lithium ion battery, it's in seven to nine dollars. You buy it for all your smoke detectors in your house. You will not have to change that battery in the smoke detector for 10 years. You hear me? 10 years. That means 2018 plus 10 is 2028. In 2028, when I'm still here, God willing, you'll be calling me at 877-HIRE-IT-DONE. Hey, Adam, it's 10 years later. My smoke detectors haven't chirped or nothing for 10 years. I'm so happy. Thank you. And I'll be like with my cane. Oh, Mr. Homeowner, thank you for listening. And I'm so glad. Right? But now, folks, the new smart smoke detectors are out. Okay? You see... Peace of mind with a smart uh, carbon monoxide detector and smoke detector, they'll send alert to your phone if they detect smoke and will even tell you when the battery's running low to avoid manning chirps at 3 a.m. <laughs> That's the worst part. You hear that and you're like, wait a minute. And here's what people do. They hate that chirp. It drives you nuts. And I think the guy who designed the original smoke detector with the chirp should be given the Nobel Peace Prize because it works. It aggravates you. It gets under your skin and it makes you want to kill Whoever did that. So what do people do? They take a baseball bat and they smash it, or they just pull the pull the battery, pull right it right out, yeah. and then they don't do anything. Well, that's Never putting your life it right. It puts your life at risk. Please don't do that. And everyone has a smartphone next to their bed, right? So that's the point, folks. Okay. How about a video doorbell? Oh, I love that. Ring.com, right? Those guys rock. In fact, Shark Tank guys are kicking themselves. 
They turn that guy down and they're like, oh, yeah, nobody's going to want a video doorbell, right? Well, that guy's laughing all the way to the bank a billion dollars later from Amazon. Oh, my God. So that's three of the six home upgrades, folks. I got three more. Yeah, there's going to be six. So uh, you got a question, give us a call, 877-HIRE-IT-DONE. That's 877-447-3483. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network. Welcome back, folks. This is the Hire It Done Radio Network. Got a question? 877-HIRE-IT-DONE. My name's Adam Helfman. You can always email me, adam at hireitdone.com. We uh, appreciate all that. Six smart home upgrades that will help you sell your house. But then this is everyone. If you have a house, you need these, okay? So the first one was a smart thermostat. We talked about it. Uh, smarten up your home smoke detectors for sure. Um, the video doorbell, ding dong, right? Rama lama ding dong. <laughs> I mean, you got to have the ring video doorbell. There's other brands out there. Um, now the uh, home security systems are all integrated, right? But here's even a better one, okay? This is the one I like, the smart lock. And now listen, People used to leave their doors open, leave them wide open. The neighbors, come on in. Hey, how's it going? Right? I don't know what, what changed or what year everything changed, but now when someone rings your doorbell, you're like, oh, who's here? What's going on? Someone's at the door. Right? You're like, holy moly. How dare you ring my doorbell? I'm not getting up. I'm going to look at it from my phone. Well, there's other ways now too, right? Now with the video or the smart lock, with the smart lock, you can assign a four-digit code that's temporary in case you want someone to come and drop it off. Or your kid's locked out of the house. You can send a code and it temporarily unlocks. Or you can unlock it from your phone. You got thermo. You can stick your thumb on it. There's a lot of things you can do with a smart lock. And here's the best part with the smart locks, okay? Um, oh, I got a great idea. <laughs> Remember the movie Night Shift? Where the guy goes, you know, he used to carry the tape recorder. Idea. Feed the fish mayonnaise. Feed tuna fish mayonnaise. So when you can it, it's already got mayonnaise in it. Right? <laughs> I have a great idea. Combine the video doorbell with the smart lock. So put the smart lock and have a little camera right in there. Face recognition. Ooh. It's even better, right? We're, we're geniuses here at Hire It Done, right? 877-HIRE-IT-DONE, <laughs> folks. I don't even know how, how I got so lucky to get that phone number, but it's the best. Anyways, a smart lock on your front door is awesome. It's one of the best investments. And, of course, yeah, listen, it runs on batteries, right? Some people are lucky you can get them uh, hardwired. But my point is lithium ions, the future, the sh it stuff lasts a long time. So you know, should be good there. Um, what a, here's a good one. Here, here's number five, okay, of the six smart home upgrades. Give your home a warm glow with smart light bulbs. What's a smart light bulb? Okay, so we used to have incandescent bulbs. Then we went to compact fluorescent. Everyone's like, oh, go compact fluorescent. I get, I get sick when I hear them. You know, I get headaches. They flicker. They're at mercury. They're going to ruin the world. You know, they were so minuscule amount. It didn't matter. But then they quickly got rid of compact fluorescents and went with LED. And everyone's like, oh, my God, LED's the future. And LED's great because here's why. Your 60-watt light bulb was your average bulb. And to get the same light output on an LED bulb, it's three, three watts, three, three watts and 60 watts. That's 57 watts less. That's a lot of savings. But LEDs, if they're not built right, will get, give off some heat. So you got to be careful. But here's the best part. With LEDs, they're computerized. Light emitting diode. It's a diode. They can change the colors. So what we call glow, warm glow with smart bulbs, you can get a yellow, you can get a, the lumens can change. And you can do blue, green, you know, you can almost have your house like a disco. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'm going to turn my house into a nightclub after 9 p.m. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, 9 p.m. I'm in bed. <laughs> I'm getting old, folks. But anyways, um, a lot of homeowners want smart bulbs. You can turn lights on and off from, the, from your phone, but you can change colors. There's a lot you can do that will allow you to control that. And then the last one is tying it all together. Alexa. Oh my God, there you go. Google Home. The Apple SmartPod, I think they call it. Anyways, HomePod. 
HomePod. That's right. The Apple HomePod. So you got Google Home. You got the Alexa. I'm kind of like into the Alexa, but they're all good. And they're all tying everything together with the Internet, folks. And by the way, that's what they call it, the IOT, Internet of Things. Uh, that gets you everything. So your Alexa, and that's from Amazon, can control your thermostat. You can, can, you can go to Alexa and say, hey, Alexa, what's the temperature in the house? And Alexa's going to say to you, um, they're gonna say, Alexa's going to say to you, hey, it's 72 degrees, and you can say, Alexa, we changed it to 70. No problem, Adam. That's right. Alexa talks back. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Um, I gotta, I, so let's just review these really quick so you all have them. And by the way, if you ever have a question, call us, 877-HIRE-IT-DONE, or email me, adam at hireitdone.com. Six smart home upgrades to sell your house. Number one, replace your thermostat. Number two, smarten up your, your smoke detectors. Number three, protect your home with a video doorbell. Number four, secure the front door with a smart lock. Give your home a warm glow is number five with smart light bulbs. And then, of course, get your Alexa, which is kind of cool. Now, moving on, my friends. Did you know that the air inside your house is five to ten times dirtier than the outside air? Whoa, that's a statistic. I'm not using hyperbole. I'm telling you the truth. So why would you want to know that? Well, listen, most kids today have allergies. And people are like, what do you mean allergies? Yeah. Um, they're going to the allergist. They're going to the pulmonologist. And the, the, the doctors are like, yeah, here's an inhaler. How many inhalers do you need? I've got three of them. Right, got the quick acting one, the long acting one, the powder one. The you know the you you click it, click 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 click, and then you it spins. You know, I'm like, damn, I got so many breathing devices, I don't know what hit me. Anyways, that's because the air quality's dirty. You don't want to get in your house and and, and and poison yourself. So that's why I'm telling you, air duct cleaning is something that you should consider. Why clean your air ducts? <laughs> because they get dirty. And a lot of people are like, well, I'm not so sure. Listen, the average house has 20 to 25 pounds of schmutz in the air ducts. And you're like, what is schmutz? Well, let me tell you what schmutz is. Schmutz is a combination of dirt, dust, dander, debris, pollen, and average stuff. A highly technical term. It's one of the higher done words in our dictionary. Right. Schmutz. There's also scuts. But today we're just talking schmutz, okay? So in addition to normal accumulation of dust, dirt, found in everyone's home air ducts, there are several other factors that increase the need for regular heating and cooling system cleaning, right? Now there's furnace tune-ups, which we know. They clean the burners and they clean everything around your furnace. But your duct work is duct cleaning. But here's the thing. What about pets? You have pets, dander, dust, uh, cigarettes or cigar smoke? Are you a cigar smoker? Cigaretter, people still smoke today? <laughs> I don't know. Do they? <laughs> well, they have these now, these, what are the vapes? You know, I see some kid driving down the road the other day, and he's yeah. got this, like, looks like a, almost like an old radar detector. <laughs> and he's got it in his, next thing you know, he, like, exhales, and it's like a cloud of smoke. It's like this really deep, it's like portable hooky, hookah. Yeah, right. Oh, my God. So, but here's the thing. Why clean your air ducts? Well, because of the smoke. Because of if you're renovating a house, the dust. What did Glen Hickey used to say? Water always wins. We have that's why we have a Glen uh, Grand Canyon. Water contamination or damage to the home or your heating and cooling system. You need to clean your ductworks. And by the way, many people are more sensitive than others to certain contaminants. Allergy and asthma sufferers. Sometimes these are triggers. But here's the here's the benefits. Okay. And by the way, it's the National Air Duct Cleaning Association. Um, if you're a duct cleaner, you know, I, I recommend you join. They're the professional organization that, uh, you know, doesn't police the industry, but they set the standards for what. Now, there are a lot of contractors who aren't members, but they'll say we apply those standards. But I would say, you know, membership has its rewards because I think it's better. Listen, you should check the Better Business Bureau, folks. Contractors should be members of the BBB. That's what I'm telling you. 
So that's why membership helps, because it helps education and helps them make, do a better job at being businessmen. They may be great duck cleaners, but if they're not good businessmen, what good is it, right? We don't want that. So here's the thing. Here's some benefits, obviously, of heating, cooling, uh, HVAC, duct cleaning, right? If you're, by the way, if your ducts look dirty, they probably are. So that's the thing. So indoor air quality, obviously, is one concern that homeowners have, right? But here's another thing. Did you know you can save energy? Yeah. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, these are statistics, folks, 25 to 40% of the energy used for heating or cooling your home is wasted. How is that? How is it wasted? Contaminants in the heating and cooling system cause it to work harder and shorten the life of your system. That's right. Although filters are used, the heating and cooling system still gets dirty through normal use. And by the way, when it's clean, it doesn't have to work as hard to maintain. That's where you save the energy. And you don't lose as much. Uh, that's awesome, right? We got recalls coming up next, folks. We got some really good ones. Uh, we got a Hire It Done mailbag. Give us a call, 877-HIRE-IT-DONE. I'm Adam Healthman. You're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network. Welcome back, folks. This is the Hire It Done Radio Network. I'm Adam Healthman, home improvement expert, thought leader for all those who wants to make fun of me. 877-HIRE-IT-DONE is our number. Uh, this just in, Josh from Voltron Power. He's a master licensed electrician out of Metro Detroit, told me, not only should you get smoke detectors with the 9-volt battery backup, that's lithium ion, he says have them wired in, in parallel or in sync so that if, God forbid, one goes off and there's a smoke uh, in the basement or in the main floor and you're upstairs, it'll notify everyone else. That, my friends, is our uh, professional tip of the morning. Thank you, Josh, from Voltron Power. He's a rock star, by the way. Um, so Hire It Done has some recalls. And I want to read this to you folks. Every week we have the recall report. Here we go. Honeywall. Honeywell. <laughs> Honeywall. <laughs> that's the other brand. Yeah, that's the other brand. <laughs> yeah. Honeywall, Honeywell. <laughs> Honeywell is like a food, right? No, I'm <laughs> Honeywell recalls hard hats due to risk of head, head injury. Right? Honeywell makes hard hats? They make thermostats. They got hard hats. Hey, whatever. But here it is. The name of the product. Fiber Metal E2. Okay, or and North Peak A79 hard hats. Um, the hazard is the hard hats can fail to protect the users from impact, pros, posing a risk from head injury. Yeah, that's an OEV. I don't want to have that problem. So here's the thing: they had about 82,000 of them made. That's a lot. In addition, there's another 65,000 in Canada. By the way, shout out to our Canadian listeners. What up? Or should I say, coo 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 coo. <laughs> Do you remember that? No. <laughs> Bill and whatever? No, you don't remember that. that. Uh, I'm so it shows my age. Oy. Anyways, these are sold at the industrial protective equipment distributors nationwide in their stores and through their e-commerce portals, portals and online at Amazon.com and other websites. If you need to contact, if you have this, you need to contact Honeywell. Here's the number, 888-812-812. No, no, here it is. 888-212-6903. That's 888-212-6903. Or click on HoneywellSafety.com for more information. Um, yeah, you don't want to have that, fo folks. Here's another recall. HD Supply recalls ceiling fans due to impact hazard. HD Supply. Seasons Ceiling Fans is the name of the product. The brackets connected to the fan blades can break and allow the blades to, <laughs> to fall, posing an impact hazard. Oh, my God. So hold on. Let me read that again because this is, like, kind of dangerous. It's like throwing. That's my nightmare. Right? The brackets connected to the fan blades can break and allow the blades to fall, posing an impact hazard. So, okay, they're falling. It's not like they're going to – you're spinning it really fast, and then they break, and it's like a throwing knife. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't believe is happening. Here's about 144,000 units. Um, and these are sold at HD Supply Stores nationwide and online at hdsupplysolutions.com. From March 2016 through February of this year, 2018, uh, between $60 and $140. How do you get rid of these or how do you uh, figure this out? If you have this, call HD Supply at 800 782 4154, my friends. Or go on hdsupplysolutions.com for more information. So that's interesting, but hey, you know, 
What do we what do we, what do we know, right? Hey, you know, a lot of people call me up and ask me uh, about uh, tankless water heaters. And, you know, there's a lot of brands, right? Takai, Takaji, Renai, Ritz, Bosch. There's a lot of them. Uh, but here's one that's made in Georgia, an American-made one, folks. And I like to, pull, I like to talk about that because, you know, listen, we're patriots. Q's coming. Uh, Renai America says its first tankless water heater, heater has rolled off the assembly line in Griffin, Georgia. So this is cool, right? The event marks a major step in the company's effort to bring manufacturing back to the United States, a pledge it made eight months ago. You got to give them credit. Shout out to Renai, right? So their first unit was the Renai H H E Plus series, um, which is a non-condensing, and here's the best part, Wi-Fi compatible tankless water heater. So not only is it a tankless water heater, it's a smart tankless. That's kind of cool. And, of course, it's going to be commemorated in the lobby of Renai America Manufacturing Facility in Griffin, Georgia. That's cool, right? Let's, let's learn a little bit more about this. Um, so it's a, it, this unit is from their temporary manufacturing location, in, which is the completion of their inaugural step to establish the first major U.S. manufacturing site for tankless water heaters. That's pretty good. What they previously announced, Renai, was that they're going to build a North American facility in Griffin, Georgia, which is 300,000 square feet. Woo! That's some serious square footage. Um, and, of course, they're in the process of expanding their North American headquarters um, as well. So i got to be honest with you, shout out to Renai. If you're a plumber uh, or you're an installer of tankless water heaters, I urge you to check out the Renai product, okay? Um, why not support the stuff that's made here? I will. You do too. It's America, though. It's your choice, right? And if you ever have a question about a product, give us a call, 877-HIRE-IT-DONE. Oh, that's 877-447-3483. And uh, we're here to help. And, of course, the, sh the number that we have is available during show hours. And then you can always email me, adam at hireitdone.com. We have all kinds of resources available for you, the listener. Um, and it, we want to be the homeowner's resource. Here's another one. Adhesive technology. There's always um, evolution in glue. <laughs> it's glue, right? They call it adhesive technology. Right. Let's get all excited. But uh, construction adhesives may not be the first product category that one associates with the word technology. See, everything is impacted, folks. Google has changed the home improvement business. I always say they hurt the they hurt the business, but technology through quick search and stuff is making a difference. Um, here's the thing: new and improved products hitting the markets are securing a place here, right? Chemistry factors beneficially into formulas that withstand an increasingly wide range of temperatures. In at least one case, technology improvements include gains in mechanical advantage, meaning the glue's stronger. Remember the, uh, the old crazy glue or super glue? <laughs> Do you know the story between crazy glue and super glue? No. They were brothers. No way. Yeah, and one guy decided, I want to open up in, like, Canada or something. And they're like, no, we don't need that, or, there's, or something like this. This is, I don't remember 100%, but he opened super glue, and the brother was crazy glue. Which one where the guy was hanging from his hard hat? That was the, the best beat. part. That's why, I, that was where I'm going. I remember the guy was super glue. Do you think that was real? Of course. <laughs> of course. It wasn't fake back then, right? No. So here's the thing. Um, technology and adhesives is big time. They call them hybrids, low VOC, extreme weather. Some really good stuff, right? Um, but here's the thing. Construction adhesives just represent the tip of the applicator when it comes to rollouts of technological advancements in adhesives. Here's one. D DAP products, right? Um, they have this new DynaGrip formula, right, that uh, includes easier to gun in its variety of selling points. Here's the, the, the ones they include. Heavy-duty variety specific formulas for, like, drywall. Um, interesting. So the product, my friends, is better. Glue's better, sticks better, stronger, less uh, VOCs, which is volatile organic compounds, less off-gassing items like that. So pretty interesting. Um, in other news, Lowe's, 
Lowe's, Home Depot, big box stores, right? Um, you know what? It, it, and then this is a little side note. Is Lowe's and Home Depot like the new 7-Eleven? You just go there for convenience? They're everywhere, right? I think it's more than convenience. Because, but if, if there's a low, Lowe's a mile from you and then there's a Home Depot a mile and a half, that's what I mean convenience. You're just going to go to the one that you come to first thinking that they're the same? Or are you going to go to the Home Depot a mile and a half later because they have better hot dogs? <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I go to Home Depot because of the hot dogs. Actually, I'm a Costco guy. But I can't go to Costco just for the hot dog because it costs me $500 every time I go in there. <laughs> yeah. It's really the $1.50 hot dog, but it's a $500 hot dog. <laughs> Right, folks? You buy a case of hot dogs? No. I go in there for the hot dog for the fifty <laughs> deal, but then I go in and get a bulk thing of chicken breasts. <laughs> I get, like, a case of toilet paper. <laughs> you know, 500 cups of cake cups just because it sounded cool. Oh, my God. Right? You just can't go. Oh, instead of a pound of bacon, oh, it's the five-pound pack. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here for a hot dog. Anyways, Lowe's overhauls its light bulb aisle. That's right. Lowe's is lighting up the U.S. stores with a new light bulb offering that intends to take advantage of an exclusive deal they've made with GE Lighting. That's right, folks. GE still makes light bulbs. Did you know that? So when you go to Lowe's, you check out their new light bulb aisle. Hey, that's how we roll here, folks. Oh, I know. I'm not allowed to say that's how we roll. My <laughs> producer gets mad at me. It's all good. All right, folks. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Hired Done Radio Network. Welcome to the weekend. It's the perfect time, folks, to hire it done. My name's Adam Helfman, and you're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network. I want to give a shout-out to our newest affiliate, KXNT, 840 AM in Las Vegas. That's right, Las Vegas, Nevada. Program Director Andy Vieira, thank you. All the listeners out there, bet with your head, not over it, right? <laughs> That's what we got to do. And, of course... A little bit of history about me for all my new listeners. My name's Adam Helfman. I'm a home improvement expert. That's right. I'm a fourth-generation contractor. Uh, I've remodeled probably over 10,000 homes. That's right, folks. But I'm not a do-it-yourselfer, okay? Let's be real clear. I'm not a do-it-yourselfer. However, I'm not anti-do-it-yourself, right? I am pro-do-it-for-me. You see, we used to say... The most important tool in your toolbox is your checkbook. But guess what, folks? No, 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 no. That ain't it no more. Okay? Your checkbook's important, especially for the, uh, the do-it-for-me crowd. However, the new tool in your toolbox that's more important than anything else today is time. That's right. Time. Think about it. Time is the new currency. And... I need you to understand why. Because your time is valuable. With a smartphone, with email, with everything bombarding you all the time, time is valuable. You've got your kids, soccer practice, hockey, you know, whatever it is, you're always busy. Tutors, after school activities, you join the gym to get rid of the stress that life has created. You, whatever you got to do, folks, time is the new currency. So if you're going to spend your time wisely, that means you're going to hire some, some projects done. Are you going to build your own deck? Are you going to stain your own deck? Or are you going to hire it done? Are you going to do your own roof? Are you going to watch HGTV and in 28 minutes they remodel a whole darn bathroom? Do you believe that, folks? Come on. You can't do that yourself. You're going to hire it done, but you're going to hire it done with the right contractor. And that's what this show's about. I'm not anti-do-it-yourself. Remember, folks, I'm here to help you hire contractors so that you can have a hassle-free home improvement. And you know what? This is what the show's about. It's going to teach you, the homeowner, how to fix, repair, or remodel everything within the four corners of your lot. You see, that's important. You know, your home, like a car, similar. You've got to maintain your car, right? Oh, but your car has an odometer. Let HireItDone.com be your odometer for your house. Let me tell you when to change your air filter. Let me tell you when to clean the ductworks. Let me tell you when to tune up your furnace. Maybe change smoke detector batteries. Yeah, there's some do-it-yourself things I'm going to give you. We have a segment of the show called Home Hacks, right? Which reminds me, where's all my famous music? 
I guess we're not we're not we're not we're not doing that today. <laughs> My drops. It's all good. Anyways, we have a new phone number too. Oh, I'm so excited. 877 hire it done. 877 hire it done. That's 877-447-3483. See folks, we've got a great 800 number or a toll-free number for you. And that's what's so fun about the show. If you can't do it yourself and you're like me, from the neck down, you're probably worth minimum wage. That's what I'm worth from the chin up a lot. And that's how I share my information with you from my experience, okay? Helping me in the studio today, John Simon, making sure everything technical goes right. Roberto handles the Facebook Live and at time lends his humorous homeowner experience, right, Roberto? Can you sing that phone number jingle one more time? 877, <laughs> hire it done. 877, <laughs> hire it done. Oh, that's beautiful. Right? See, I'm a jingle writer, too. I, I like just it. created the 877. <laughs> I don't need to pay Otis. <laughs> By the way, the, the, the phone number, which, again, is toll-free, 877-447-3483. Grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Imagine you're in a, a coffee shop sitting next to me, right? This is what the show's about. We're going to share knowledge and information. Yes, that's what we do, folks. And by the way, my email address is adam at hireitdone.com. So if you ever have a question, you can always uh, call me, email me. And here's what we have here. We have this great national radio show. We're here to give you good advice. We're here to entertain you. That's what I want to do. I want you to feel comfortable. I want you to have the knowledge and experience and say, you know what? Or the comfort, I like this guy. I like his website, hireitdone.com, obviously. And by the way, when it comes time to basically hire a contractor, you go to my website, we have all the resources there. And we want to give you the questions to ask. And that's what this, this show's about. Questions to ask every contractor. And here's the best part about my show. I'm going to give you the questions they don't want you to ask. Bam! How you like me now, right? And you can always email me. And by the way, we get, you know, thousands of homeowners every week requesting contractors and requesting work and things like that. And we try to match you like a dating service. You know, we're the match.com of home improvement. We want you to find great contractors. And we pre-screen them. And we have a 10-point pre-screening. And you can go on hireitdone.com and read about our 10-point pre-screening. So that you can feel comfortable. Again, the whole goal is to have a hassle-free home improvement. And uh, again, we're full of good knowledge. We're full of information for you. Go to our YouTube channel, HireItDone.com YouTube. Uh, Facebook Live. We're on Facebook. There's great resources everywhere. So coming up next, folks, some really cool lead requests from homeowners and listeners uh, into the Hire it Done mailbox. I'm Adam Healthman, and you're listening to the Hire it Done Radio Network. Welcome back, folks. This is the Hire it Done Radio Network. My name's Adam Healthman. 877 Hire It Done's the phone number. That's 877 447 3483. You can always call us. You can email us, adam at hireitdone.com. We're here to help you. We want to be your home improvement resource. So homeowners buy the thousands every week come to HireItDone.com, and they request contractors. So we like, you know, part of the show is to help you find good contractors. And in markets, as we grow, uh, we're going to help help you in your market uh, find good contractors. But a lot of contractors listen to this show as well because they want to hear what Adam's going to say. They want to hear about what's going on in the home improvement business because we keep our finger on the pulse of the business whether it's trends in decking, trends in kitchens, what's new, granite quartz, whatever it is, top popular colors. And the contractors want to know, especially when I say, here's the questions you're going to ask your contractor, and here's the questions they don't want you to ask. So they're going to be prepared now because, you know what, it's uncomfortable sometimes. Mr. Contractor, you just told me the job should take 10 days. Well, while I appreciate you telling me that, according to Adam Helfman, you should also tell me if it takes longer than 10 days what you're going to do about it. And how you're going to help me. Oh, right? You need to tell, ask him that. Mr. Contractor, you want 50% down for this bathroom. i got to be honest with you. According to Adam Helfman, that's not a good sign. Adam Helfman says only 10% down. And he gives us suggested payment schedules. Contractor's like, whoa, 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 uh-oh, right? 
But what I use is common sense. Common sense, folks. I'll give you a quick example. Let's use a bathroom, a $10,000 average bath cost. Actually, nationwide, a three-piece bath remodeling, which is gutting it, okay, to the studs, nationwide is about 15000 But let's just use round math for a second. $10,000. You, you, you sign a contract with a contractor. Here's what I tell you to do. You tell that contractor, Mr. Contractor, please write the proposal like a story. Contractor, what do you mean? I want the proposal to have a, a, a beginning, a middle, and an end. I want you to tell me the way you're doing this like a start. Step one, demolition of bathroom, right? Step two, cleanup. Step three, rough electric. Rough, step four, rough plumbing, right? And write it all down. That way, everyone follows that. And if you want, you can even attach a timeline to that. But here's then what you do for the homeowner. This is, the, this is what you tell the contractor, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner. And contractors, if you're listening, you should be doing this. Mr. Contractor, write down this proposal like a story, but also I want you to write, write down everything included in the job. And I tell contractors and homeowners the same thing, so this is important. Once the contractor comes to your house and he feels like he's prepared and he gives you everything and he says, here's what's included, you need to also ask him at the end, okay, Mr. Contractor, I get it. But according to Adam, he wants you to put down everything not included. <gasps> the light bulb just went on. Well, what does that mean? Let me give you an example, friends. What could not be included? The contractor writes in the bathroom remodeling project, demolition by contractor. Okay. Daily cleanup. Okay, no problem. It sounds great. Ha ha. Here's the advanced PhD hire it done question or concern. Mr. Contractor. It doesn't say, according to Adam, clean up daily or clean up from project, but it also doesn't say haul away the debris. And here's why I say that. Because I've had contractors and homeowners complaining to me about contractors. Hey, Adam, I hired this guy, and he put down cleanup, but what he did was he put everything in a pile at the end of the driveway. The garbage company came and said, we're not taking this away. Ooh. And as a homeowner, you don't know better. You, it said clean up. You cleaned it up and you put it in a pile. Here's the deal. Clean up and haul away all debris resulting from the contractor's project. Now, you as a homeowner is not supposed to know that. You as a homeowner are supposed to have an experienced contractor just say to you, yeah, Mrs. Jones, we're going to haul away, of course. We'll put it in writing, according to Adam. That's my advice to you. That's the priceless advice we want to give you. Because the contractor may say to you, okay, oh, you want me to haul it away? That's $750. He gets a $300 dumpster. He pays his $10 an hour guy to clean and fill the dumpster. Takes him a half a day. He just made another three to 500 on you. Uh-uh-uh. Not a chance. Not with Hire It Done. We're not going to allow that. That's why if you have a ten dollars or $15,000 bathroom... When you sign that agreement with the contractor, you don't give them more than 10%. First payment is upon signing contract. $10,000 bathroom, $1,000 deposit. And by the way, you should have a three-day cancellation clause. And it should be in writing. You should have three days after you sign it to, in case you get second thoughts. Now, let me say this. If the next payment for you is more money, it should be. So what's the next payment? Well, the contractor can say a couple things. $1,000 on demolition. I mean, $1,000 on signing the contractor. The next payment for you, my friends, should be upon demolition. And that can be 20%. So you had $1,000 on a $10,000 bathroom is, a, is, is 1000 That's ten. And then the next payment is $2,000 because that's 20%. So now upon start of demolition, or you can say completion of demolition, you give him 2000 So now you've paid him 3000 and he's demolitioned the project. The next payment shouldn't be upon completion of. This is the key difference. Start of and completion of. Start of is the advantage of the contractor. Completion of is advantage of homeowner. We're going to err on the side of completion for you, the homeowner. And good, solid contractors are okay with that. Because you can say, all right, the next payment 
is another 2,000 or 3,000, and it's upon completion of rough plumbing, rough electric, and rough heating, all three. Bam! That way, you're paying, it's called progress payments, and you're paying as you go, but you're not paying before it starts. You're paying after it's finished, so that way, you, the homeowner, if the guy never shows up and never comes back, right, at least you didn't give money and he took off. At least he did something and earned it. That's why I do that at Hired Dumb. But homeowners don't know better because you've never done that before. That's why I'm here. I'm your resource. And if there's a contractor that says to you, ah, don't listen to him, put me on the phone with him, okay? <laughs> I'll take half my brain tied behind my back, and I'll mentally fight with him. In the Hired Dumb mailbox, by the way, dear Adam, here's, what, here's a request that came to the website. We are looking for someone who's willing to install siding that we already have. Now, you folks, if you buy materials, let me say this. Contractors hate that. And I don't blame them half the time, but we live in a society now where the contractors should allow it. But when a contractor allows the material, you know as a homeowner, you need to accept the liability if there's a problem with the product. And you're risking the project. Because if he installs it and there's something wrong with the product, you can't blame him. And if you do blame him, shame on you. So here's what I want to do. We're looking for someone who's willing to install siding that we already have. Okay. Here's the, here's, here's, we follow up. Yes, they came out, but the estimate was very high. I realize they have overhead to take care of, but geez. Listen, folks, it's not cheap today getting home improvement done. Contractors from Hire It Done aren't the cheapest, and they're never the most expensive. They're always right in the middle. We're going to expand on that when we come back, folks. I'm Adam Helfman, and you're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network. Welcome back. This is Hire It Done. My name is Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network. You got a question, concern, you need some advice, priceless advice? Give us a call, 877-HIRE-IT-DONE. 1-877-447-3483. That's right, folks, 877-HIRE-IT-DONE. You can always email me, adam at hireitdone.com. Uh, don't forget to check out our Facebook Live on our Facebook page. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am telling you, folks, that I have been producing with our new videographer. I called him a cameraman the other day. He said, excuse me, I'm a videographer. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, talk about millennials taking it, you know. I looked at him like, dude, have you heard of a Betamax? You know what he looked at yeah. me? He goes, he goes, Betamax. He turns his head like, you know how your dog sometimes turns his head and listen? <laughs> he turns their head. He goes, what are you talking about? I'm like, whatever, dude. He's a videographer. Yeah. That's what we have. So I have a new videographer. And I am telling you, folks, go to hireitdone.com and watch our videos. Now, our videos our home improvement videos teaching you great stuff about home improvement. We just finished one on liquid rubber siding, one on mosquito control. Oh, that's so good. And I'm telling you, I can't look at myself on video. I have body dysmorphic disorder. I can't stand it. But this kid, <laughs> right? There's something about him. What is it? He... He's, he's, I think he's a PhD in Photoshop. <laughs> He's been able to make me tolerable. He fixes you in post. But the point is, the, the content, the actual content, people, you will learn something really well. I'm just letting you know. Um, so I just want you to go to that website, hiredone.com, and watch that stuff. So here's the thing. Homeowners request stuff, and last week uh, they put in, we're looking for someone who's willing to install siding that we already have. And Hire It Done automatically follows up with the homeowners when they request something. Three days later, seven days later, 14 days later. You get emails from me. Hey, how's it going? Who'd you meet? Here's the names of the guys you met with. Have you purchased yet? So we got a response from this lady. Yes, they came out, but the estimate was very high. I realize they have overhead to take care of, but geez. Folks, perhaps you don't understand how much home improvement costs. And I'd like to blame reality television on that i'd like to blame them because they tell you oh yeah this bathroom we did for fifteen hundred dollars really says who did you steal the stuff did you buy it on craigslist out of the back of the truck next to the speakers 
<laughs> the white van? Can you imagine? New, I want to do the white van trick. Remember the white van trick with the guy selling the speakers and in the boxes like rocks or whatever? But I'm going to do like, hey, I got these vanities. Fresh vanities, granite tops. No, I don't, come on. Anyways, contractors have overhead, right? In order for them to install your siding, Mrs. Homeowner, they got to pay the labor to install it. They got equipment. They have insurance. They have to pay their overhead. It's called burden. Now, maybe you should not tell the contractor you have the, the product. Tell them just, you know, I want siding. And then after he gives you the siding price, say, how much if I supply the siding? See what happens. You'll know. It's not, a, it's not cheap. In fact, if you have a $10,000 siding job, 60% of the job is labor and overhead. 60, 40, right around there. Some products are more. Some are less. Think about that, folks. Here's one. Hi, Adam. This is, these are requests in HireItDone.com, by the way. And if you have a question, call us, 877-HIRE-IT-DONE. I have an aluminum fence that needs some repairs, new gates, and some of the posts are sinking and raising. I've had about three to four companies come out and look, but then I never get a call or a quote. Call back, reference the repairs. I assume maybe the job is just too small. Any suggestions will be appreciated. You know what? Think about that, folks. It's a tough job. Is it a handyman job? Is it a fence company job? What you need to do is when you call a fence company and say, hey, do you do fence repairs? And you need to understand that that's the number one stigma of contractors today. They don't call you back. They don't show up. What's going on with that, folks? That's very frustrating, right? I don't blame you. Here's one. We followed up uh, a good one. Roofing project request. And that's where Hyrton kills it. We, we, we rule the roofing business. I was contacted by all four contractors within 12 hours. I received my first two calls within an hour. Mike from Company A was the first estimator to visit. Mike thought we had we have four or five more years of life in the roof and did not recommend relate, replacing our roof at this point. Oh, my God. How about them apples? What's your favorite fruit? Apples. How about them apples? What was that movie? <laughs> you told me about it. I don't, I don't remember it was the greatest movie ever. Ben Affleck, Matt Damon. Oh, Goodwill Hunting? Yeah. Uh, What's your favorite fruit? Apples. How about them apples? Right, right, right. Bam. 877 hire it done, folks. Anyways, here's the next one. I appreciate Mike's honesty more than you'll ever know. We will contact Mike for another estimate four to five years from now. Listen, not if you don't need a new roof and you think you do, that's what you get with hire it done. Our contractors are, are, are pledged to honesty. There'll be other guys that'll want to sell you a roof no matter what. Now, you can say, hey, I know there's probably four years, but I want a new roof now. You can get it if you ask. But I don't ever want anyone to say you sold you a roof because you didn't need it. It's because you wanted it. Right? I will return to Hire Done for all my future work. By the way, I have listened to your radio show for years and love it. Thanks for the great service you provide. Well, you're welcome. I like to, to help people. That's what I want to do, folks. I like to help you. And that's what we do at Hire Done. I want to help you. Um, so what else is going on around your house? It's the weekend, folks. It's time to hire it done. Are you ready because we're coming out of this terrible winter? Are you ready to look at your house? Are you ready to see, walk around it today and say to yourself, oh, I better check the siding. I better check my roof. I better check my gutters, my landscaping, the concrete, the windows, the caulk around the windows. You know, you can't caulk over caulk, right? You got to scrape it out. You're not supposed to caulk over caulk. I like to say that because it's funny, but it's the truth. Oh, I'm thirsty today. I got lots of energy. It's early, but who cares? That's what I'm at. Like I got, it's called spilkus. It's another higher ton word, but it's just good though, right? So I want to give you uh, things every homeowner should know, okay? So we're just going to go general around your whole house. And if you have a question or a concern, call me. 877 hire it done that's 877-447-3483, which is always good. Gutter tune-ups. Yeah, we hear, we have gutter tune-ups. That's how, It's kind of cool. So here's the thing. A leaking hot water tank is a time bomb. Forget about your Instant Pot. 
It's your water heater, folks. Water heaters sometimes break from the drain. They leak from the drain, actually, or the valve or the relief valve, okay? And they're easy to replace, but if a leak is coming from the tank, it's probably mean you got serious trouble because the tank is lined in metal, right? And it corrodes over time. And uh, you got to be real careful. Uh, it could definitely break. Um, definitely break. So you got to be careful. Eventually, the, uh, it cracks, the steel begins to rust away, and the puddles appear, and then you have no hot water, and then your basement's flooded because the water fell right out of the bottom of the tank, I mean, of the water tank. Luckily for you, Hired Dunn has great plumbers, and they'll install uh, a new water heater in it. They carry them in the truck. You can call over the phone and just say, listen, I have a water heater. How much? They'll tell you over the phone so you don't have to worry about them coming and this and that. You can even send a picture. That's how lucky we are sometimes. Okay, here's another thing you need to know about your house. Daytime is crime time. What? That's right, you heard me. Daytime is crime time. Most of us think burglary as a nocturnal activity. That used to be true. However, statistics say most burglaries occur, occur between 10 and 5. 10 a.m. and 5 p.m., not 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. Think about that, folks. During the day. Why? Because you're going to work. You're on your way. They watch you leave. They pull up. But if, if you got the ring.com video doorbell or you got the security going, you're okay. I love watching on Facebook. People say, hey, anyone know this guy? Same guy with the white hoodie. <laughs> they all look the same. Then he gets around. <laughs> then he gets around. So daytime is crime time, right? They get through, and here's the thing. They get through unlocked doors first. Most crimes go through a side door and then the windows, okay? That's important. Security is important. Need to go around your house, folks. Trim the bushes back around the windows. Don't give them any coverage or foliage to hide. Things every homeowner must know. I've got a bunch more when we come back. I'm Adam Healthman, and you're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network. Welcome back, folks. 877-HIRE-IT-DONE. That's the phone number. 877-447-3483. Got a question? You can always email me. Adam at HireItDone.com. We were talking about things every homeowner must know. And it's really interesting. You know, there's a, I have a longer list on this, but we got, we got a bunch of them. Leaking water heaters a time bomb. Daytime is crime time, right? Make your furnace last. Ooh, that's a good one. So here's the deal. Regular filter replacement is the very best thing you can do to keep your furnace in top condition. And here's a way to keep track of that task. A couple ways. Well, buy several filters and label them, right? Each one by the month. Um, or go with a few months in between changes if you have the right ones. But here's the better way to do it, okay? Sign up for the furnace monthly plan or the heating cooling monthly plan from your local heating cooling contractor. And the reason why is because they really do keep your furnace working longer. It's the best money you'll ever spend because one repair will eat up all the money uh, that you think you're saving by not. And I always say to homeowners, listen, how, when's the last time you changed your air filter in your furnace? They look at me like, oh, uh, uh, well, I bought one of those long-lasting ones. No, listen, you didn't. Okay, and if you did, it's, it's in there longer than you thought. What I'd like you to do is get a four or five inch pleated air filter because if it's more air surface that goes through the filter, it cleans the air better. Now, a plugged air filter will make your furnace blower motor run harder and longer, which takes up more electricity, more gas, and it ruins its life. That's why the furnace breaks down and the blower motor is one of the most expensive items to repair. The blower motor, the ECU unit, or the uh, burners, whatever it is. Those are the items that are really expensive, 1200 2200 and then you're getting to the point where you might need a new furnace. So if you want your furnace to last, you got to take care of it. Twice a year is all you got to do is tune it up and get the right filters. Going on vacation, shut off your water before you go on vacation, right? Um, if you're an insurance adjuster and you're listening, you know what I'm talking about. Every insurance adjuster has hundreds of stories like this. Homeowners left town Friday, returned Sunday, found water everywhere, right? Now, you live in a freezing climate, 
Will pipes freeze? There's other things you can do to prevent frozen pipes, obviously. You can leave the uh, cabinet doors up below your sink. Any outside walls that have water, like a sink that in the kitchen that overlooks the backyard, you got to leave the cabinet doors open so the heat from the house flows. Well, what about letting the water run? It, you know, today water is expensive. So I say let the water drip to a pencil thickness. So it's a very small stream. Remember, when you have rivers, rivers don't freeze. Because the water's moving. Moving water doesn't freeze. That's where you want to prevent the pipes. Because if pipes freeze, the copper expands, cracks, and then, bam, water everywhere. And even if you have PEX piping, sometimes, you know, although PEX is pretty good, you got to be careful. 877 hire it done. That's the phone number, folks. 877-447-3483. If you have a question, give us a call. Um, squeeze your tube. Your squeeze tube caulk. Squeeze tube caulk is trouble. Okay. Squeeze tubes are convenient, of course, but if you need to lay a neat, even bed of caulk, you need to use a caulk gun instead. With a squeeze tube, it's difficult to produce a steady flow, and that means a lumpy bead. Like I said earlier, you can't caulk over caulk. But, you know, a lot of people just want to buy a little bo bottle of caulk, uh, silicone, you know, for their bathroom around there, a sink, wherever, tub. You know, you might need to do that, but you need to buy a caulk removal tool. Because you've got to scrape out the existing caulk. Do not caulk over the old cracked caulk, folks. You're doing yourself a disservice, okay? And if you want to use the little bit of the squeeze caulk, buy the caulk spreader. It's like, it looks like a, like a pencil that's like, or a concave device. And you just smear, smear, you smear the caulk around it, and then you use the caulk spreader, and it makes it a nice, even application. What is the removal tool? I don't even know if I've ever seen that. Is that like a it's a, roller? Kind no, of thing? the talk removal tool is like a little bit. It's like a, it looks like a screwdriver a little bit. It's got a little hook on it, oh, and you yeah, scrape yeah. it. Yeah, you could Google clock removal tool. You get my face. I like that. <laughs> so no, but the thing is, is again, and if you're not good at that stuff, here's the best part, folks: hire a handyman, but make sure he's licensed and insured, and ask him. I need a guy that knows how to do good caulking, and say to him, do they caulk over the existing caulk or do they caulk? They remove it. Let them know. Ask them that question. See what they say. If they say, oh, no, we can just, we're so good, we'll cover the existing cock. No, 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 no. Don't be doing that. A lot of homeowners need to know this. Things every homeowner must know. What's our value? Our value. Roberto, you know what our value is? Roberto value? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> t technically, our value or the, 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 the wiki answer is the resistance to heat flow, okay? It's a way of indicating insulation's ability to stop heat from moving through it. So think about this. In the colder months, when you're heating your house, what do you want to do, folks? You want the heat to stay in the house. How do you stop it from going out? Scientifically, heat travels towards the cold, right? Everyone's heard of energy audits. Everyone's heard of insulation. Well, what insulation does it slows the heat traveling outside, slows it down. Yeah, there's ways to stop it, but you also have to breathe. So like your house must breathe. So there's ways you got to do that. But the better the insulation, the R value, which makes it a little bit thicker, the slower the heat moves through it. Okay? So what, what, what are the uh, factors that determine the thickness, the, the number of the R value? Because R values come in numbers, right? Well, here it is, thickness of the insulation and the insulating ability of the material. Fiberglass can be 12 inches thick, but you could have different R values in the, in the thickness. Or you could have three different 12-inch thick R fiberglass insulations, and they could be different R values because of the density. Cellulose, foam. What about denim? So denim... That's a good question, Roberto. So denim used to be a very, very popular insulator. Now, it was, you, you would shred it, you know what I'm saying, and the cotton qualities. And so what happens is anything that is uh, aerosolized or, you know, fluffy will allow the air to move through. But what it does is it slows it down. And when the heat slows down, you know, it stays in longer. When your heat stays in your house longer, folks, here's the domino effect. The furnace works less, Right. 
If your furnace works less, it uses less gas. If you use less gas, your bill is lower. See what I'm saying? There's your domino line. In fact, we should do like a, a, a everything impacts everything. It's like a, we could do the Kevin Bacon of saving energy. <laughs> Six degrees of right? savings. How does your 88 degree temperature outside affect Six degrees later. That's not a bad one. We should we should come up with that, right? What about breaker? Uh, your breaker panel, your electrical. Don't trust the labels. <laughs> Inside your main electrical panel, you'll see labels that list indicating which breaker controls what microwave, range, hood. Right? New code today says that every appliance in your kitchen has to have its own circuit, right? But they're usually in reasonably a good guy. But I, you know, I am a stickler for that. I want to make sure I know exactly which one for the generator, for the refrigerator, for the living room, the family room, the, you know, the bedrooms, master, whatever. But they're never completely reliable because you don't know who wrote them. So, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> right? They're never right. Yeah. Well, code says they have to be, code <laughs> actually says they have to be labeled. So, you know, what about galvanized pipes? Galvanized pipes, copper pipes, right? Well, galvanized pipes get plugged like your arteries. Don't eat too much pizza in your house. You might plug the galvanized pipes. <laughs> if you have galvanized steel pipes in your house, folks, and low water flow at your faucets, okay, um, chances are the pipes are to blame. Get that off, okay? Just the thing. It's galvanized. So you want to upgrade to copper. Now, don't fall off your roof, okay? That's another thing. Uh, ladder injuries are tough, so you've got to make sure that you know that. So those are the things every homeowner must know, and I want you to know that that's how we are here at Hire It Done. So if you ever want good advice, you got to visit HireItDone.com, right? And if you always want to call me, call 877-HIRE-IT-DONE during the show or email me, Adam, at HireItDone.com. And we're going to get to you because we love homeowners. We're every homeowner's best friend. Remember, what you don't know can hurt you. That's our model. What you don't know can hurt you. So I want to make sure that we all get that going the right way. I'm Adam Helfman, and you're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network. What you don't know can hurt you. HireItDone.com.